Is the Autel Evo Max 4T about to shake up the enterprise drone industry? We're gonna talk all about it, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are talking about the Autel Evo Max 4T. In this video, I'm gonna go through, talk about all the features category by category, tell you what I think of the drone now that I've had a couple of weeks to test it out. And we're gonna talk about where this drone actually fits into the enterprise drone space. So here we go, let's start with category number one. All right, let's talk about the drone size and deployability. Uh, so the size of it, it is actually a very compact drone. It's somewhere in between the size of a DJI Mavic 3 and the DJI M30T. So right in between there, but a very, very portable drone. It'll fit right in a backpack. Now for deployability, it is really fast to get it out of the box and up in the air. So say you're a police department, you've got a drone in the back of your squad car, you can pull up, get the drone out of the box and get it up in the air in less than a minute. So this drone is a great size that is very portable and very deployable. Okay, let's talk about thermal. This is really one of the main reasons people are gonna buy this drone. It has a high resolution 640 by 512 thermal sensor. So you're gonna be able to get accurate heat signatures from 400 feet up. You're gonna be able to see things out in the middle of a field that you need to see. If you're like search and rescue, and you're trying to find somebody that's lost, uh, this drone and these thermal capabilities are gonna come in very, very handy. This drone has a crazy zoom range on it, 10 times optical, 160 times digital zoom. Now, obviously the further you zoom in, it's gonna get more digitized, it's gonna get more blocky and harder to see. So if you zoom all the way in 160 times, you're gonna have a hard time reading something from a long, long way away, but you'll be able to see what that structure actually is. So crazy zoom range on this. You're not gonna need to fly close to anything with this drone. Uh, so if you ever crash it by running into something, that is on you. Now it also has a 50 megapixel wide angle camera. This is a little different than what you're used to. It's You can't actually select the wide angle camera. So with DJI's M30T and the M300 and 350 for that matter, you can actually select the wide camera, select the zoom camera, or select the thermal camera. On this drone, it's a little bit different right now anyway. Maybe they'll change it with a firmware upgrade, but right now uh, you can only go to the zoom camera and the thermal camera. The wide angle camera kicks in when you are just fully zoomed out. So instead of it being a separate camera that you can pick, uh, it, you just zoom all the way out and then you're in the wide angle camera. This drone also has a laser rangefinder on it. That's right, a laser rangefinder. So you can point at something like a structure, a building, whatever. Uh, it's gonna tell you the exact GPS location of where you're pointing. It's gonna tell you the median sea level of that area. And it's gonna tell you how far away that location is from the drone. So really interesting information you're getting from that laser rangefinder. It works really well, but overall a really cool tool for people to use uh, out in the field. Swappable payloads, I forgot to say this in some of my previous videos, but this Autel drone actually has swappable payloads. So in the future, when they release another sensor that can go with this drone, say it is specifically for mapping, instead of having to buy a whole new drone, you can actually just take the gimbal off of this drone and replace it with the new camera. So that's really cool because the DJI drones can't do that. If you want those other capabilities, you gotta buy an entirely new drone. This drone has swappable payloads. In the future, that's gonna come in really handy if you're looking to save money and not buy a completely new drone. This drone can operate in temperatures of negative four up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is IP43 rated, so you can be out in a little bit of light rain, a little bit of light snow, and it should not hurt the drone or the remote control for that matter. The remote is also IP43 rated. I'll get more into that in a little bit. But really important, if you want something that's a little more weatherproof, this drone might be a great option for you. Now we're early on in the development of this drone, at least the way we've seen it. Like I just got it a couple of weeks ago. There are still some features missing. One of those features is object identification and tracking. Now the identification part is ready to rock. You go into the software, you switch it on, and then you're able to see cars and human beings. It can differentiate between the two. Uh, so that's a really cool feature. In the future, you're gonna be able to touch on one of those items. So a car or a human being, and the drone will follow that object. So say you're following a car, the drone goes up in the air, the drone will stay stationary. So say you go up to 400 feet 
and just leave the drone right there. It will use that high powered zoom range. Remember it's 160 times digital zoom. It's gonna use that big zoom range to continue to follow that car and it can follow it for miles and miles until that object goes behind a building or goes you know, behind a bunch of trees or something like that. The, the drone might lose it at that point. But this is a great feature. I know a lot of our police departments are using this already with other drones. So this is gonna be a great addition to the Autel Evo Max 4T. All right, this drone has a hot swappable battery and you say, well, how can it be a hot swappable battery if it's only got one battery? Well, the drone actually has its own internal battery. It's not gonna last you very long. It's not gonna last you 10 minutes or something like that, but it does last long enough to pull the battery out, put a new battery in and get back up in the air without ever having to turn the drone off. So a hot swappable battery on this is a very nice feature. The transmission range on this drone is 12 miles, over 12 miles actually. Now, that is in excellent conditions with no obstructions whatsoever. And even then it would be hard to get 12 miles, I think. But the reality is you don't need to go that far. Uh, you personally with your drone flying legally have to keep it in your line of sight. So you can't go doing long distance tests trying to get five, six miles on one of these drones anyway. So really all you need is about a mile. That's all you're gonna be able to fly before your drone goes out of sight anyway. So it does have a 12 mile transmission. It doesn't need to have a 12 mile transmission because you can't go that far, but they've really upgraded the transmission range with some of these drones. It's got an anti-jamming and anti-interference feature built into this drone. So say there's somebody that's trying to get your drone out of the sky, they're pointing some device at it that shoots something towards it, trying to interfere uh, with your drone's signal. This actually has the capability of rejecting that jamming signal and continuing to keep your drone up in the air. Also anti-interference, uh, that's really gonna help you a lot if you're flying in a city environment. Uh, it's gonna keep your signal stronger and keep outside signals from messing with your drone. They also have a mesh network. I don't fully understand this mesh network. I just know it gives the ability for several different drones to communicate with one another uh, in a secure way. So the mesh network, you might know more about what it means. I've, I've read about it, but I, I do not completely understand it. So I'm just being honest with you, but it does have those capabilities if that's something you're interested in or that you understand. All right, this drone has 720 degree obstacle avoidance. Nothing is gonna get close to you without this drone alerting you. You can adjust the parameters as to when the drone is gonna warn you that something is close. Uh, so you say you don't want it to be at 20 feet, you want it to not alert you until something is close to 10 feet away from you. You can actually do that. But the sensors work great. Like I said, nothing's gonna be able to get close to you without those things going off. But even though the sensors are awesome, the obstacle avoidance is awesome, you have to fly smart. Don't fly too close to buildings. Don't fly too close to trees, especially if the trees don't have leaves on them. Don't fly too close to wires. That's not gonna set off the sensors. So there are a lot of things that you still gotta think about even when you're using those sensors for obstacle avoidance. You're gonna be able to fly this drone in GPS denied areas. So you have no GPS signal out there. Uh, you don't know that you're gonna be able to get your drone up in the air. Some drones aren't gonna fly if you don't have a GPS signal. Uh, so this drone is going to fly in GPS denied areas. So that can be really important depending on who you are and what your use case is. If you're somebody that flies in those GPS denied areas a lot, this might be the drone for you. Another great feature is that Autel does not do geofencing. They don't block you from flying anywhere. Whereas there are other companies out there that will actually stop you from flying in certain areas, even if you have FAA approval. So say you're flying near an airport, you get FAA approval to fly near that airport, but for some reason you get there and DJI is not letting you take off. You're not sure why. That's because they've got a geofenced area there and you're not gonna be able to take off without jumping through some hoops to get that geofence unlocked. So no geofencing for Autel, at least not for right now. Uh, hopefully they never do it, but they might in the near future. But no geofencing is a big feature for this Autel drone. 
The Autel Smart Controller is really something special. It has a huge screen. It is incredibly bright, feels really good in your hands, although I would suggest using a lanyard for it. But it is a top of the line smart controller. It actually has a bigger screen than the DJI RC Plus, uh, which is for the M30T, the M300, and the M350. Uh, it's got a bigger screen than that remote, which is an incredible remote. Uh, but I really, really like what Autel has done with their remote control. You've got an HDMI out, so if you wanna go to a big screen from it, you can do that as well. All right, next up is the live deck. What exactly is the live deck, you might ask? Well, it looks like a little modem, but what it actually does is it receives the signal from the remote control. So say you're a police department, you've got a drone mission happening, uh, but headquarters are somewhere else. They're a couple miles away uh, from where the pilot is actually flying. This little device, the live deck, is actually able to receive the signal from your drone, just like your remote control would do. Now, once you receive that signal to the live deck, you can go HDMI out from the back of it to a big screen TV. You can go straight to the internet with it so you can live stream that signal. It's a great little device that kind of sets Autel apart in this category. All right, let's talk about attachments. There is a little port on top where in the future, you're gonna be able to attach different items. So say it's a speaker, uh, say it's a spotlight, or even like an RTK top hat, if that's something that you need. But that is something in the works in the near future. I'm sure there'll be third party products as well, uh, but something to look forward to. We'll figure out what those attachments are actually gonna be. All right, let's talk about price. So the price on this drone is $9,000. So you get the drone, one battery, the smart controller, some extra props, and a hard case. That is what comes for that $9,000. If you wanna add some extra batteries, those are 319 a piece. So you're looking at a drone that's coming into the industry in a certain area, and that price comes right in between the M30T and the Mavic 3T as well. So a really interesting option for somebody that wants more than the Mavic 3T, but wants a little less than the M30T. So I think this drone is gonna be a big success for Autel. I think they've got it right. I think the future firmware upgrades are are gonna give us a lot more features that I'm really looking forward to, but I'm really, really impressed with this drone. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We work really hard on these videos, so hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. We appreciate you stopping by and see you next time.